Welcome back into North Dakota. Today we're cooking with Cash Wade. Last time you saw us, we were putting walleye burgers down on the grill. Sorry, I didn't yeah, mean to get you right. away there. I should have said, I watch have, out. I should have said swing. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh, so now that we have our walleye burgers grilling, we are going to get ready to present them. Yes, we want to put it all together. So uh, one of the things is that uh, sometimes, you know, it's a little intimidating to cut an uh, avocado. Yes. And it really ought not be. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it t together. Okay. So if sometimes you know, up here you have a little little knob. I don't. No, I popped yours out. Oh, thank yep. you. Thank you. So what we're going to do that. is we're going to take our knife and go straight in it, you know, right through that knob, and until you hit the, the pit. Okay. So, okay. Oh, there we go. And then we're going to just rock that this way avocado around the pit. Okay. And hopefully you came back to where you started. Uh, hopefully. Mm -hmm. We'll find out, won't we? And the avocado in this dish is, or for the walleye burgers, is, is, are we just uh, making a little topping out of this, or kind of what's the plan? Yep, so we're going to split it now that we, we cut it in half. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife. I, I messed up. That's, a that's bit. okay. No, you did good. Okay. Take our knife. We're going to go right at here with the heel. Oh, okay. Kind of poke it, and then you're going to twist it right out. <laughs> <laughs> twist it. Twist. There, there you go. There we go. All right. So your avocado isn't so sexy. Okay. So, you know, um, I mean, it's, it's usable, and so uh -huh. that, that, would be, that would be primo uh, guavi, you know, uh, guacamole. Okay, gotcha. But because yours is a little bit uh, <laughs> dark up in that area, uh -huh. um, I'm going to go here and scoop this one up for you. You just don't like my avocado, oh, I, my I poor do avocado. Very much. I do. It's okay, little buddy. Yeah, and they have like all kinds of really cool little gadgets that you can get, and, and uh, those are certainly uh, something you can use. And we don't need all that fancy yeah, stuff Well, here. I mean, if you have the room, then great, you know? <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and slice uh, these into nice, probably about a quarter inch. Okay. Oop. That kind of stacked. That that works. <laughs> so now uh, we've we got our we've toasted our buns. We got mm -hmm. our grilled walleye burger. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna put a little tartar sauce on the oh, bun, yeah. both our, top and bottom. Our tartar sauce that we mixed hand mixed ourselves That's last. That's right. Time. Let's get that. Yeah, you can pick it up. I don't know why I was being so timid with it. It's just about a tablespoon <laughs> each side. Okay, so that might have been too much, is what you're saying? No. <laughs> Look, it, I mean, some people may say, "Hey, skip the tartar." Oh, there you right? go. That's true. I like my sandwich. I'll, I'll do a little less on this one to make up for the glob that I left in the bottom bun there. All right, then let's uh, put a burger on there for you. Okay. Thank so you. That's our burger. You know, so, um, see the grilled marks. The the X. Yes. Now, um, what you do is you put the, you find a place on the grill that's at like say ten o'clock. Okay, so you got the clock right, mm -hmm. twelve, two, and ten, right? Got it. So then you got ten, and about halfway through the cooking, you go to two. Okay, and that, and that will give you those marks with a nice little X shape. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the importance of the grill marks? Obviously, aesthetically, it's, it's, it's aesthetic, great. yes, but also an even cooking. Okay. So kind of like the oven where we have cold spots, mm -hmm. same kind of idea. Got it. Perfect. All right, let's put a little uh, of our guaca or uh, avocado down. And how much you want to, you put on is up to you. I'll go with. I'd three. say I'd say a nice half is is reasonable. I'm just gonna. Okay. Maybe okay. Do a little bit more. We'll just go right there. Perfect. And then we're gonna top it with a little uh, mango. Now you can use any salsa you want. Mm -hmm. I love the flavors of the mango here. Okay. A little sweet. Pair, pair well with the uh, the walleye. Mm -hmm. This feels healthy. <laughs> it, 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 it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, the, like I said, this this walleye burger has very little to no fat. So we are adding fat, but we're adding the good fat. When all your fat comes from an avocado, you're probably in pretty good shape. Absolutely. All right, should we try right. these guys? I think we should. Oh, it looks juicy. It's a lot the there. Salsa dripping. <laughs> that was good. Like you mentioned, very lean. But you got the juiciness of mm -hmm. the, the salsa. You got that really richness of the avocado. The tartar sauce kind of comes in the background. And it really complements the fish. I'm really glad we used your avocado, not my avocado that you made. We'll, we'll make guacamole with that. <laughs> we'll make guacamole with that one. We mm -hmm. can dip that into there. We're good. Everything's fine. And, and you can use avocado on that or guacamole on that. The, the possibilities are endless. If you want to find this recipe, you can find it, the full recipe online at valleynewslive.com. But for right now, from... Oh. That tartar sauce is awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, right, thank sorry, you. I, 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 I No, it's okay. It's fine. We're cooking with cash. <laughs> we'll see you next time on North Dakota Today.